Okay, <clears throat> this is uh, an example of multi-pass uh, compositing in Nuke. Um, uh, this uh, the resource files are from CG Arena. Mm, I, I can't remember. I think it was an After Effects to, tutorial, but and it's just a, a single image. It, it might be a Photoshop tutorial as well, but it it doesn't really matter. Uh, it's the same if it was a sequence. Since all of the layers, uh, at least supposedly, would be would be in sync. Um, so. Uh, this this looks a little messy. Uh, it's it's something I did uh, a little while back, um, but uh, but hopefully it makes uh, sort of sense when I I go over it now. I'll just try and see if I can just make this look slightly more neat here. Let's see there. And then hold the control and then uh, see get that out there. So something like that. So you can see how this works. Okay, <clears throat> so um, I, I simply stacked stuff. Um, background is um, is just a constant with the same resolution as uh, the rest, and then I'm just stacking layers using merge nodes. So uh, in this case, uh, merge uh, with over will give us this, since this is just a black layer with alpha. Uh, and uh, of course, uh, in in this merge node, you can you can choose how how, how much the mix should be. Uh, so it's it's exactly like Photoshop. Uh, the next thing here is uh, the car paint mask, which is uh, let's just go uh, back to coloring. there. <coughs> so it's white, and then I use a multiply node where I multiply it by, uh, by a reddish color. And then I merge it with an over, so now I have a like a red red base. The next thing is a, a fall off of the car paint uh, that I uh, multiply by the alpha. It has to do with uh, pre molting the uh, the edges so that I get rid of um, funny looking uh, stuff. Uh, it, it sometimes it can also uh, be fixed just by using the pre multiply, but for this I needed to pre mold it. And again, I multiply this by a red one, so I, I essentially I don't need this. Uh, I just, you know, I just start from one end and work my way down there. Since um, this one is actually put on top using screen, so I get that up there. Uh, and pressing D, I can see what happens if it's active or not, and I can blend it in as much or as little as I want. The next thing is ambient occlusion. Again, it's pre-molded uh, when that's on top there. And again, we can mix it in more or less. Um, then we have uh, the details render, which looks like this. And then it's pre-multiplied, it looks like this. So it's it's more or less, uh, what we're going for here is, uh, is the is uh, the, the the details uh, in in the in the headlights and uh, the threads for the for the tires. That's that's mostly what's going on there. Uh, and when we put it in, you can see we get that. So see that's uh, mostly that. Actually, the tires don't go on that much. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Interesting. Um, not quite sure why it's not uh, going in. Oh, maybe it's because the mix is too low. I don't know. Hmm. Um, not sure. Oh yeah, I'm masking this out using this thing here. So that's that's the reason. So if I if I turn the mask off, you can see I'll, I'll get it in there. Um, you can use this or, or not. That's that's up to you. No, I just remove it so that I get the details from the from the tires. Then the car paint specular that I put on, like this, and I'll, I'll, I'll mask that in, so if I don't have the mask on, it looks like this, which is probably not what you want, I just need to get the mask in. There we go. So I mask it out by this thing here. So it's uh, it's more or less uh, masking is based on, on um, like a facing ratio uh, type uh, screening method. So it looks like this. Um, next thing is like uh, the, the highlights for mirrors and 
uh, chrome bits, etc. So that goes on here. And then we have the cow paint mirroring, so something like that. Uh, I think the masking here that I uh, might need to like turn this down a little bit, like so. So I, I hope, hopefully, this makes sense. Um, the idea is that uh, every every layer you just use a merge node, and you can use over or multiply or uh, you know the the normal. Um, layering method that you like and then <coughs> on each of these nodes you have the additional mask plugin that you can mask you can pluck to something so for instance this and then you can use if it should be the alpha or the red or whatever you like to uh, be masking that particular operation well that will be masking the the a input the the overlay how much that will be applied to the one underneath so yeah, that's basically it. So good luck with it.